king of this jungle, a king, but I'm humble. Don't get it twisted. You ready to rumble? I'm ready to rumble. And don't forget it. Obstacles come, but however, them fumbles are not permitted. And ain't nothing given to you, gotta get it. Everybody dies, but not everybody lives. I am more alive than every single ad lib. Everything so lavish, way above your average. High status has been established. Yeah. America reopening one salon on Rodeo Drive, officially back in business this morning. My next guest, known all over the world as the Emperor of Hair. His A-list clients range from the Kardashians to Joan Collins to Gabrielle Union. He's been the proprietor of his upscale beauty salon in the heart of Beverly Hills for more than 25 years. And yesterday, he finally opened the doors once again at his new location. Joining me right now is Elgin Charles, salon owner. Elgin Charles. And Elgin, it is great to have you this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you, Maria, for having me on. How does it feel to be reopening? What kind of demand uh, are you seeing? Tell us what you're expecting from this important day today. <laughs> uh, well, it feels great to be, uh, you know, back in business uh, and to change my location to Rodale Drive is even more fabulous. But it comes with a lot of restrictions because of this COVID-19. So we have a sign on the door screening, uh, temperature screening. We also have sanitizer. We have uh, uh, plexiglass partitions that we put between the stylists. Uh, and we sanitize the chair after each client. Uh, we got to take it very seriously because the ladies, when they come in, my God, they're very paranoid because, you know, they've been quarantined. So we try to make them feel real comfortable and let them know that we are taking this stuff seriously. So come on in. And of course. <laughs> so, so you're doing all you can to make people feel comfortable and safe, even as California is reporting thousands of new cases of coronavirus. Yesterday alone, L.A. County reinforcing the masks and the social distancing. Elgin, tell me about opening and making sure your clients and you're doing everything that you can to keep them safe. What kind of pushback are you getting from California in general, from the officials there that want to basically put a pause button on the reopening now? Well, I, I don't think they should. Uh, you know, Corona has been around now for maybe, you know, about four or five months. And uh, we've seen the uh, decline and now it's coming back up. The summer people are starting to go out and being more relaxed. But if we will just take this seriously and just put on our masks, uh, come, everybody should wear a mask, I think, so that you don't pass on uh, any kind of, uh, you know, saliva or any kind of anything that comes from your body that can pass it on to someone else. So if you wear a mask, that's going to be the most essential thing that we should do. And then, of course, we should wash our hands. When I do clients, I use gloves. I use gloves on each one because I don't want to pass on any of my uh, um, germs to anyone as well. And also, I want to protect myself because I'm standing here in front of everybody working and doing one client after another. So I have to make sure I protect myself. So I'm just as serious about this as well. Uh, to shut down the economy again would be really, really bad for us as hairstylists because we have really paid a price for this thing. Well, that's right. And I'm glad you uh, mentioned this because we've got small business owners that we speak with all the time. They've poured their heart, soul and all of their money into their businesses. And this shutdown has cost them a lot. How significant has this shutdown been for you? I know you have poured all of your time, energy and money into your own business and you're proud of it and you were closed. What kind of an impact did that have? It had a major impact. It cut my numbers about half of what I was doing. Uh, thank God for uh, online sales, selling my hair, my wigs, and my hair care products. Uh, that really helped me out a lot. Allure, you know, uh, Allure came out and, and said that I was one of the best hair brands in the world, one of the 11, 11 top. And that helped my sales go too. So that really helped me out. And then I started doing a YouTube channel uh, where I was doing mukbangs and also the YouTube of cosmetology type of classes and stuff, just staying engaged. And all that helped me to just even things out. But I'm so excited to get back into the salon so I can really start making money because, you know, it's, it's difficult when the main source of income has been taken away from you and you have to sit still and just wait. 
It's very difficult. Of course, and, I, and I'm, I'm sure your clients are dying to get back in. It's been several months here. I finally got a haircut the other day, and I didn't realize <laughs> I would be talking to the emperor of hair. So, Elgin, thank you so much for your expertise, and I wish you the best. Remember to go to ElginCharles.com or Elgin Charles on all my social media. That's where you can find me. All right. We're looking. Elgin Charles. For more information on Elgin Salon, head to FoxBusiness.com. It's all there. Elgin Charles. That's what they call it. Oh, yeah, what they call it. Elgin Charles.